What's up, I'm Matt Guff, and today we're gonna walk through the brand new ride lineup and kind of figure out what is going on with the whole redesign. Ride basically scrapped everything. They threw, threw everything away and they started from uh, scratch for the uh, 2021 season. And uh, we, I just kind of want to dive in with you a little bit. I haven't really seen too much on online, on YouTube for, for kind of what Ride is doing. Um, I know like Ride does a pretty good job at e explaining some of their stuff, but I thought I'd just kind of shoot a little video to help you guys kind of see what I see from my perspective, yes. Uh, last season, I was able to get a pair of these kind of limited edition special colorway A10 bindings. I absolutely loved them. Uh, the A10 is like the ultimate binding. Um, but I kind of want to talk about the, the, the naming, the two different chassis systems, the adjustability, the high backs, the straps, and the discs. Those are kind of like the main things that we'll, we'll go through today. Um, but to kind of start out is the naming. The ride has basically two chassis systems which they kind of start their naming with. The aluminum chassis are known as the A-series bindings, and the composite chassis are known as the C-series bindings. Now for the men's line, they have the A-series and the C-series, but to kind of signify that a piece is women specific, they added the letter L for ladies in the name. For instance, this is the AL8, and this is the CL8, so aluminum and composite. Now, um, kind of within the each series, the A or C series, uh, they kind of go from numbers that start with uh, 10, 8, 6, 4, and two. Um, not all of the series have all of those numbers within it. For instance, the men's A series has 10, 8, 6, and the C series has 10, 8, 6, 4, and 2. The women's series has uh, the AL8 and 6, and the CL8, 6, 4, and 2. We'll kind of get into what those numbers mean in just a little bit, um, but, the, but the aluminum chassis. Um, the Ryan has been well known uh, for having aluminum chassis in the past. The redesign, I think, is what really led um, uh, to really good innovations in thought of Something needs to be done with with the with a binding that makes it aluminum binding that makes it flex more and allows the board to flex more. I think that's what they've done. So you still get the reactive flex and power transfer of aluminum binding that Ride has always had, but it's gonna be a lot less rigid because it's narrow and allows the board to flex more. So uh, this is just another binding that I just oh, pull out here. It has a lot less underfoot uh, base padding. You'll see that the, the chassis of the A-Series aluminum bases are very, very narrow, and they also have a nice roll to them. There's a nice transition there, and it's not a harsh uh, 90 degree line. So this will actually allow boards to flex more um, because there's less uh, spots for the board to stop flexing than most traditional kind of uh, like squared out bases. And that's pretty cool for Ride to do. And I think that's probably the main thing on why they wanted to do the redesign specifically with the A series. Then we have uh, the C series uh, chassis. Now, everyone knows that composite base plates uh, have a damp ride. They're, they're nice and smooth, they flex really well. Um, but within the, the C series bindings, there's two different types of composites. There's the C-Series Performance chassis, which is like this in the C10, which is a 20% short class nylon composite. And then in the lower end numbered models, there's a C-Series Composite chassis, which is just a polycarbonate. There's no additional fiberglass additives. But what you should know about both of these chassis systems is that the A-Series, it has reactive flex and lots of power and the C-Series is damp and is really, really smooth underfoot. Now, um, another thing that you guys should note, all of the bindings feature aluminum adjustable 
heel cups. You can adjust things, these things uh, in and out to fit your boot size. And you can also adjust the footbeds out. So you get like two points of extension. So you can adjust your boots for a very customized style fit underneath your foot. Another cool thing about this Toro redesign there is that they're using a lot less screws, a lot less hardware. These bindings are very, very lightweight. Now we get into flex. Now, uh, flex of a binding is kind of kind of interesting, right? Um, for the most part, when I've talked about flex of a binding before, it generally has to do with how a bit, bit base plate feels under your foot and how the high back support feels uh, on your, while you're on your heel side edge because your toe side edge is kind of like, uh, the support is by the straps. But for the most part, I think uh, the flex patterns of a binding or come from the feel of the base plate and the high back. Now here's the cool thing about uh, the naming of, of ride bindings. The number within the name correlates with the flex or feel of what the binding is. Okay, so for instance, this A8 binding is an aluminum chassis binding and it has a overall flex or feel of an eight. So it's a little bit, a little bit stiffer, whereas this CL6 has a overall feel and flex of a six. So when, you, when you're when kind of look, navigating a ride site or any other site that you're on, um, or when you're in the shop, hopefully, um, you can kind of see like, okay, there's an A10 binding. That means it has a very stiff flex of a 10. Or there's a CL2 that has a flex of a two. But here's, here's a kind of cool thing about it. So for instance, this is a C10, right? So it's a, a short glass composite nylon base plate, but it has an overall flex of a 10. But this one is an A10. It has an overall flex of a 10, but it has an aluminum base plate. The biggest difference between these two, even though they have the uh, you know, same flex ratings, is that this one's gonna have a more reactive flex and power transfer, and this one's gonna be more of a smooth, damp ride while still having a good amount of support. I think that's really cool on how Ride is, is naming their bindings, uh, classifying their bindings, and doing that. Now, another thing that you kind of see as I, as I line these things up, is gonna be the high backs. There's actually five different designs uh, with four different types of materials. Uh, there's uh, the cord out style nylon. Uh, I believe this one is the, these two are the carbon style slime backs. They also have a, a slime back, which is urethane, and then they also have uh, a nylon. And um, it has, it's, it's kind of nice to see a, a bit of differences in, in materials, but as you as you kind of like see this here, uh, these all these bindings like look similar, and I, I kind of wonder I wonder why. You know, there's not a lot of colors. You know, was it because Ryan is doing like a new relaunch? They 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 wanted to conserve a little money and not do a lot of different splashy colorways and stuff, or is it just because they wanted to kind of match up the colorways of their boards? There's a lot of black and white style boards out there. Now we'll kind of get into the straps. All of the straps for the 2021 season from Ride are actually going to be mold injected. There's no stitching, there's no, there's no EDA padding. It's all either uh, urethane or uh, some kind of mold injected style plastics. And you kind of see this line up here. Some of them have like three pieces, some are dual piece, some are single. And, and one of my favorite ones actually though is the reversible style ankle strap. This one, which you'll find in the A8, actually has kind of two different uh, feels on the strap. The upper section, which is black, is gonna be more stiff. The lower section, which is white and has been cored out, is gonna be a little bit softer. The cool part about this reversible strap is you can reverse it with the opposite binding and change where the flex is gonna be. So if, you, if you're an all-mountain rider and you want a, a stiff flex, you're gonna have the black up on top. But if, you're, if you want more of a surfy, fun ride, or maybe you're in the park, you can reverse the strap and have the white cored out section on top for more forgiveness. And then of course there's the toe straps. There's you know a lot of similarities within them, but actually one of my favorite ones is the minimal toe strap that's found in some of the base level models. It's really lightweight, cored out, but it still can be worn on top of your foot and on the front of your toes. And then kind of rounding out this, this video is gonna be the discs. Now, uh, the high-end bindings like the A10 and the C10 are gonna have two different 
options for discs. One that is plastic, that is more flexible, and then one uh, that is aluminum, that is more reactive. And uh, I really like that. And uh, within the higher models of the A series, besides the A10, um, like the A8 and A6, you'll, you'll have, I believe, the aluminum one. And then as you get into the composite chassis, you'll have plastics. And that's the same thing across both the men's A and C series and the women's AL and CL series. But th that's kind of that's kind of it. I think Ride is it has done such a really good job at launching these things. I think like right now they must be in their marketing plan of just like really pushing uh, the War Pig, <laughs> you know, like the whole Pig series, which is which are great uh, boards, of course. But um, you know what? I think. Ride is really crushing it with, with their bindings this year. Again, there's uh, two different chassis systems. The A series, which is aluminum, a total redesign, reactive flex, power transfer, and the C series, which is composite, either 20% short glass nylon or polycarbonate, which gives a very damp and smooth feel. And again, the, the, the flex ratings, and the naming of the bindings, I think, I think is brilliant. I really, I really do. So if you're if you're at a shop or online, you see a ride binding and it says CL8. It means it has it's a ladies bindings with a composite base plate, and it also has a you know a, a feel and flex of an eight. So uh, that's kind of it. Uh, thanks for taking the deep dive with me. It was actually a lot of fun, like kind of like diving into each of the models and kind of figuring it out, figuring them all out. Um, it, it has been an absolute blast riding this A10. This is the ultimate binding. But you'll see uh, links below in the description of some of the other videos that we that we shot uh, about the ride bindings. You can do that by selecting them below. Uh, feel free to leave a comment or question. Um, I'm kind of learning learning them as, as we go, of course. So uh, yeah, feel free to reach out with any questions. Give me, uh, give me your thoughts and concerns and hopefully we'll see you guys on snow. Thanks so much for watching. Again, this is a wonderful lineup from Ride for the 2021 season. Peace.